makes a lot of sense to purchase one pattern that you can use to make more than one garment for your wardrobe. When searching for a pattern you can switch up lots of ways, one thing to look out for is the number of pattern views. You can see with Simplicity Pattern 8792, there are five pattern views, but I was able to adjust the pattern even further by combining pattern views to create even more options. In looking at the line drawings of this pattern, I'm able to see that there are seams in the construction which make it easy to add contrasting panels of fabric. Keep in mind that visible seams like this also mean that you'll want to match up the print of your fabric where the seams meet, so you may end up needing to purchase additional yardage, depending on the repeat of your fabric's print. I started with the length from pattern view E for this skirt, shortened it a couple of inches, and combined it with button placement from pattern view B. This fabric is a medium weight woven fabric, so it gives the skirt some structure, but it still feels light and breathable. The print of the chambray also adds a romantic, playful feeling. This animal print fabric is a silky and almost slinky feeling fabric, giving the skirt more movement and allowing it to hug the curves of the body, a bit more than a structured woven material would. Each of these two skirts received black buttons, which add design interest to the skirt in their own way. For this denim paneled skirt, I used pattern view A but added interest by using contrasting colors of denim. This is a heavyweight denim that gives the skirt substantial structure and controls the body's curves more than it would accentuate them. I used a medium weight natural linen fabric to create pattern view E, creating a traditional pencil skirt that gets some bonus personality points thanks to this diagonal line of contrasting buttons. The leather styling of these buttons also works nicely with the natural linen material giving this skirt a cohesive feel, stylistically speaking. I wanted to create a mini skirt with this skirt pattern, but none of the views were as short as I'd like, so I adapted some of the existing views by folding the pattern pieces as I cut out my fabric. I used the wrap styling of view D to make this mini skirt that feels straight out of the 60s. I chose to use fabric wrapped buttons to keep the buttons from feeling too busy alongside the plaid fabric. This is a lightweight faux suede fabric that gives the look of a suede miniskirt without the heft and the heat of real suede. I used these decorative metal shank buttons again to add interest to this skirt. This silky printed wrap skirt was made by keeping strictly to pattern view D. This fabric is lightweight, so it will gently drape and accentuate the body's natural curves. The hidden button closure at the waistline keeps the skirt securely fastened, while the visible D ring at the hip adds decorative detail. I combine the maxi skirt length of pattern view A with the same wrap styling of pattern view D to create this fun bohemian feeling linen skirt. The polka dot linen is lightweight and somewhat sheer, so it was lined with muslin. This material nicely combines the structure of woven fabric with a lightweight construction that almost feels like a structured gauze. There are lots of ways to personalize a basic skirt pattern. Why not give it a try yourself?